Hi guys, welcome to another video by myself, Bateson87. Today we are doing another player prediction rating video for a certain team. He's one of the best teams in the world, and according to some people's the best team in the world. It's a very, very difficult one, that is, because they are pretty good. They are pretty good. Lost a few players this season, guys. It is FC Barcelona, or Barca, um, in the La Liga. One of the best, um, if not the best team in the world, guys. But trophy-wise, I don't know, it's difficult, because <laughs> Real Madrid keep winning the Champions League. So, are Real Madrid the best, or are Barca the best? You guys let me know in the comment section below. Now, if you guys are interested in a FIFA 19 giveaway, where you want to get involved in it, and uh, uh, potentially a winning chance of copy of FIFA 19 when, it, when it's released, check out my pin pinned tweet on Twitter and my pinned post on Facebook. Check out what's wanted from there and get involved. Guys, you've got a chance to win a copy uh, free of charge. Ultimate editions as well, so you guys can be playing FIFA as soon as it does come out. Now, if you do want any MSP, PSN codes, or cheat game codes, go and check out G2A.com. Their links down below. If you're trying to hit it over 3,000 likes, that'd be brilliant. And guys, subscribe to me and uh, hit the bell button so you never miss an upload on the channel. That'd be fantastic. Check out all my other social social media channels um, as well. So this weekend we are doing both Barcelona and Real Madrid. Today's going to be Barcelona on the Saturday. Tomorrow's going to be Real Madrid on the Sunday. And obviously, we know about Real Madrid losing. Um, a big, big player in uh, the likes of Cristiano Ronaldo, but Barcelona um, have made some nice transfers uh, in the market as well. One of them um, we are not including, but I will include him. I will mention him um, in the video. I know I've not got a graphic of him, but I know I will mention him. And um, it's a player which for everyone was thought he was signing for Roma, ended up at Barcelona, and it is Malcolm. So with that, guys, we've got a lot of players to look at today. Uh, a lot of nice players which could be on Ultimate Team. Remember, these are rating predictions and not the official ratings. The official ratings will be out on EA Sports channels. I presume a few weeks before FIFA 19 does get released um, but we can take a look we can get hyped and we can get excited for it so I presume a few of these players will make it into a lot of your guys' teams come FIFA 19 um, during the course of the year so guys with that said leave a like or not let's go and take a look at the Barcelona players on the first page, guys, we have got Arthur, brand new signing from the uh, uh, from the Brazilian league. This is an interesting one, which we'll talk about in a second. We've got PK and Umtiti as well. You guys may have seen these ratings already um, in the top 100. A few of them are adjusted, including the Umtiti and the PK. That Arthur rating, it's an interesting one of where I've got it from, and I want to get your guys' opinion on it. That rating was given... Um, was if you look on Foot Foot Wiz, it was where I saw it. Foot Wiz Arthur was a 76 rated World Cup card. I can't find it on the database. I couldn't find it on Foothead. But is that the rating that he's being given? 76 rated. Is that what he's going to be? Um, obviously, he's seen as the replacement to Iniesta. Uh, obviously, a long term project with him because he's not up to the. It's going to be hard for anyone to step into Iniesta's boots, uh, but Arthur is seen as one of the biggest signings that Real Madrid, uh, Barcelona have made this summer. We have given a 76 rating, and that's purely based on what we did see on Footways. The next one is uh, Pique, the uh, Spanish centre back. We've got, I think, I've rated him at 88. He may have been 87 in the um, in the top 100, but we have given him 88 in this one. And then joining him is a player which I rated 85, and now I've rated him 86. Um, Titi jumping up to an 86 rated player. A decent French centre back, very good World Cup winner as well, and uh, does the business. Now with Arthur or Arthur, as he joined Barca, you guys may have noticed that Paulinho went the other way back to the Chinese league. He left, and it was because Barca hit the limit with South American players or non-EU players, and he had to get rid of one. And then he was brought in um, as a replacement, well, not a replacement, but as a as a signing for the future. It's gonna be interesting to see how he does start this season. Uh, let me know, Barca fans, if you're excited to see how he plays. Even players, uh, fans of the La Liga, are you excited to see how that Arthur does play. I love my South American players. They got the flair. They got the skill i'm watching some youtube clips of him he does look pretty decent but youtube clips don't show the whole um story of a player they could do a lot of stuff off ball which is even clip worthy and that's where the players do come in so the first three players guys are all for 76 Ah, for 76, sorry. PK, 88 and umtiti 86 the next page we have got the world's second best player in my opinion Messi Ronaldo easily could be both the same rating, but we have given Messi a 93 rated right wing card. Whether the whole formation and stuff does change with Barcelona now that Iniesta's gone, we'll I'll find out. Will Messi move into a central role? Um, Coutinho can play in the central role. Do you think they're going to throw Dembele and Malcolm um, in there as well? And I may as well mention Malcolm now as well, guys. Malcolm, I would give him an 83 rated card come FIFA 18. 
FIFA 19. I think he's an 82 now. I would up him to an 83 for the Barca card. I would have done the same if I was doing Roma predictions, but I, um, Malcolm, who's a new signing as I'm making this video on the 28th of the 7th, um, I would give him an 83, 83 rated card going into the new FIFA. So I missed him out on the graphic wise, but you guys will see um, that later on. Um, Messi 93. Um, I'm sticking with the rating. A lot of people didn't agree with Messi being 93 and Ronaldo being 94 in the top 100, so I'm going to stick with them ratings anyway because uh, I do think Messi is good at what he does. He's the best at what he does, but he's different. Different to, to Ronaldo. Um, he's a lot more of a creative player, a lot more f um, a lot more getting the business done. And Ronaldo's just like go-to goal scorer, you know, whereas Messi is a lot more creative uh, just behind the strikers anyway. So Messi 93, Busquets, or, or, or Biscuits, as a few people call him, including myself. Um, we have given him an 88 rated card. Um, I have upped him. I do believe we've upped him to an 88. He is one of the best central defensive midfielders in the world. Um, he, he gets uh, unrecognised, in my opinion, as well, especially on FIFA. His rating is way under what he does. Um, he's going to continue to play the way he plays. A little bit of a, a player which people don't like. Absolutely hate to uh, see him play for another team and hate his actions. But if he played for Barcelona and you're a Barcelona fan, you would love everything he absolutely does. And uh, Busquets is that man. The next one is Coutinho, matching Busquets as well at 88 rated. Um, Coutinho, I think that's a rating card he's got anywhere on FIFA at 18 currently. Uh, for FIFA 9, I've done the same. And kept him at a left wing. Presume he potentially would maybe get some cam uh, cam versions as well uh, throughout the season if he was to get any in form. So three players in this page, guys. Lionel Messi, Busquets and also Coutinho. Now, if you agree or disagree with any of them ratings as well, feel free to leave a comment section uh, in the comment section down below, guys, what ratings you would give these players. Uh, on this page, we've got Rakitic, uh, Usman Dembele, and also Mina. Mina, heavily speculated to be leaving Barcelona um, and maybe join Liverpool, maybe join Wolves, who knows. Um, but Rakitic, we have given 88, Dembele 83. He's a bit of a fringe player, is Dembele. He definitely does have the talent. He's still one of the world's best young players. And uh, I would stick him at 83 unless he has an absolutely fantastic season. And then maybe EA would come back uh, uh, to him with the January uh, upgrades and knock him up to a, maybe an 84, 85, depending on how good he did, did do. Mina, we've given 81. He's currently an 80. Uh, I do believe. And the only reason I've upped him to an 81 is because of his World Cup performances for Colombia. I thought it was an absolute rock. He looked absolutely brilliant. It blew my mind how um, potentially he's not getting uh, as much first team action for Barca but a lot of people were telling me that he does not uh, play that well for Barcelona and he's a bit of a weak link. Hopefully he can find his feet in the La Liga or move elsewhere and get the business done there but me and I have up by one just because of how good he looked in the World Cup. He's bloody tall as well. Really, really tall. Uh, Rakitic, 88, one of the best central midfielders uh, in the world. We saw that in the World Cup, uh, partnered with Luka Modric for Croatia. He's brilliant. He's uh, one of the keys to uh, Barca's attack as well. Brilliant passing, brilliant dribbling. Lacks a bit of speed in the game of FIFA, but uh, he doesn't look that slow uh, anyway. Uh, and the same with uh, Dembele, sticking in at an 83 as well. So I think only Rakitic has gone up there. As well as Mina as well, he's going to an 81. Um, but there, another three players, guys. We've got six more to look at in this video. On this page, we've got maybe one player which potentially might leave Barca by the start of the season. It is Sillison. Sillison is seen as the second goalkeeper um, to the other goalkeeper, which you'll see on the next page. Um, but I have upped him from an 81 to an 82. Roberto, I've not from an 82 to an 83. And Lenglet, who is Barca's brand new signing, up from a 78 to a 79, literally because he's signed for Barca. And uh, he must be good if Barca signed him. That's why. That's what I've done. So I've gone 79 on Lenglet, 82 on Sillison. Uh, obviously, one of the best backup goalkeepers in the world. Liverpool were linked with him at one point before we signed Allison. I was a bit unsure, but a lot of the Dutch um, fan base out there were saying he's one of the best, and Barca fans were saying you'd be lucky to get him if you could. Uh, we're seen as one of the best backup goalkeepers in the world, and I think with the, the way Barca's set up, we've got um, to Stegen in the front fold where, where he's doing the league games and then Sillison was the cup uh, the cup goalkeeper and Roberto obviously did the business for Barca last season um, not obviously up to the sand not like the level which Dani Alves got to um, but Roberto was doing pretty well in that right back position for Barca um, so there's sort of three players guys Roberto, Sillison and Lenglet let me know your thoughts in the comment section below about these three players we now move to the final section to Stegen Alba Suarez Suarez was topic of discussion in the top 100 ratings because people did not agree with his 92 rated. Everyone says he's overrated. People are saying that he should be 91. I believe he potentially could be a 91, but I put him at 92 because I love Suarez. I'm a Liverpool fan. He did brilliant for Liverpool. He bit someone and he went to Barca. 
that's as simple as that, guys. But at Barca, he's been working well with Messi. He was working well with Iniesta and all the other players for Barcelona who fit in well, even when Neymar was there as well. Um, but Suarez, I've kept my own. I have stuck him at that 92 rated still. Um, with Alba, he is, I believe... I'm going to double-check, actually, what Alba is. I think he might be an 88. Is he an 88? No, he went from an 85 to an 87. And I believe he may even push to an 88 rated card as well, because Alba is one of the best um, left backs in the world. Very different to Marcelo, he's uh, a lot faster, still does the same things, but doesn't do it with a lot of flair. Uh, but Alba we've kept at 87, but could potentially push to an 88. And then to Stegen. Now, to Stegen, I rated at 87, could be an 88. And what I did with Navas was I rated him the same. That's changed. You have to come back tomorrow to see what I changed him to. But I do agree with you. Stegen is a lot better than Navas and uh, had an amazing season. So potentially could hit that uh, 88 rated, 89 rated come the uh, FIFA 19 player ratings when EA do release them. But on this page, guys, Stegen 87, Alba 87 and Suarez 92. And that's us done. I presume a lot of people may not like these ratings. If you don't, comment section down below, guys. Get commenting down there. Write the uh, ratings that you think they do deserve. If you've enjoyed the video, feel free to leave a like rating on it as well. And guys, subscribe to me if you're not subscribed already and hit the bell button so you miss an upload and like i said at the start of the video get involved with the giveaways on facebook and twitter my pin tweet and my pin post you got a chance to win yourself a copy of fifa 19 you don't have to pay for it and you're going to get the ultimate edition so with that guys go and check out all the other ratings we've done we've done liverpool we've done manchester united dortmund no not dortmund bayern munich Man City and a few more as well. And if you guys have not seen your team done and you want to see it done, feel free to leave a comment down below, guys, and I'll do some more when I get back from my trip away. So until next time, guys, see you later. Have a very, very nice day. Enjoy your Saturday and uh, enjoy the World Finals, which are going on at the O2 in London.